Stand us up. Okay. Right, well, uh, here we go. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome along to the Rain Sports Centre here by Chargers TV. And Jordan Cooper gives us away, referees uh, for this evening, uh, Jordan Cooper and Beck Rumley here as we um, get set up for this uh, new and exciting competition that is sponsored by the McKay Timber Hobart Chargers. And um, yeah, this will, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it as we, as we go along here tonight as well too, folks. So uh, some interesting names for you here as well. So we'll, um, we'll work our way through as Jordan Strasma gets scoring underway here in the first term as well. So three sips. So this is um, Swisher taking on uh, the university team as the ball goes out of play. And we'll get some effects marks up for you as well too, folks. That's, um, this ball comes down the floor here with, with Stewart. Bergson and Strasma. Yep. Strassman looking to go to work, kicks this one out to Ferguson for three, and it's another three. So good start here by the Swisher crew as uh, they really work their way in as Brooklyn Bruden tries to get that one going, can't get it to go, and then quickly back up the floor here is Stewart on the layup and gets that to go. So end to end stuff here is the Chargers uh, not the Chargers but they are playing in the Chargers top, the Swisher crew are up by 5 at the moment 5 sip, a couple of minutes first uh, first quarter yeah. Chargers TV with all the action as uh, Jordan Walker pulls up for the mid, mid range show, couldn't get that to go and now ball quickly up the floor here as Stra uh, Griffiths that was into Ferguson for 3 and he knocked that one down. So good start here by, by the Swisher crew as all quickly back up the floor. And it's a nice pass from Fletcher Rose into Isaac Collins. Great work there. So ball Stewart. Stewart decides to launch for three and knocks it down from downtown. So an 11 2 start already. And Good signs early here for the uh, young lads from, from Swisher. Utah's group will need to get a move on as Brooklyn Bruden from deep couldn't get that to go and then re rebound by Collins. Looking for Nash on that cut and then, well, that was a kick ball by uh, Geordie Hargrave there. So. so shot clock here is in action as well too. So I believe fully time games these are. Now Bruden, he thought about it, looking to go in the post, but oh, he does now into Collins. Collins with a nice turnaround, Jay, couldn't get that to go. And then Griffiths quickly up the floor here. Oh, he will just give it off to Stewart, and looks like the Swisher lads will, well, Stewart went solo for a second there, gave it back to Ferguson, who couldn't knock that one down. Good save by Hargraves, and then Nash with it into uh, Jordan Walker once again, and he knocks that one from downtown, so. Just the three they were needing there. So Stewart puts it to the floor, go kick out pass. Strassman here at the corner for three and knocks that one down. So quick firing start here as both teams really try and push it. Now some of these boys, as Fletcher Rose goes up, draws the foul, he'll go to the line for two. Now some of these boys haven't played for a little while, so um, it'll be interesting to see what kind of kind of rust they've They've got all, and, but you know, most of these boys have been either practicing or scrimmaging or something in some way. So you can certainly say that, you know, they're certainly not, not out of form. Maybe just had a little bit of game practice here, so. As Rose knocks in second. Back to seven points now. The differential pretty much half of what the Swish crew have got currently at the moment. They're on 14. Ball down low to Hargraves, he's going to work, kick out pass, extra pass here to Strasma, who had a very good under 22 campaign. And, and now Griffiths putting it to the floor here, looking for an opportunity, ball goes out of bounds as well. 
when we get to a stoppage, I should mention that we do have some, do have a great sponsor uh, helping us with the live stream tonight as well too. So a massive thank you uh, to you, Electrical Services. Certainly, uh, Sam Yule and McCoy uh, crew out there. Fantastic that they're chipping in, which is fantastic, and getting this live stream up and running for us as well. So, there's Collins. He's going to work inside, kick out pass. Walker for another three, yes. Jordan Walker just lining things up here, Lorraine. And it's only a Friday, folks. Ball kick out, Strasma for the response. He couldn't get it to go. Rose had a hand on that and then somehow made it back to Ferguson. And now, oh, Hargrove tried to join into the party and couldn't get that done. Now ball quickly up the floor here. Bruton, now Walker for back-to-back -back triples. He's found a hot hand. And he's got this team back within one after a very good start by the Swisher team. And this will see the current women's coach at Hobart Chargers, Dwayne Davey, in, into the game. Of course, Dwayne does still play uh, senior local level here, and good to see him uh, helping out the young ones here as well too uh, this evening. So we'll certainly uh, uh, show his experience and uh, advice to, the, to this young crew of, of players that are coming through the ranks at the moment. And then a quick turnover here as we're quickly back up the floor. Jordan Walker with another layup, and it's certainly providing some points here for us uh, within the first five minutes of this game. And now they've taken the lead for the first time tonight as well too. Griffiths goes up strong. Hargrave there on the tip. Nice work. And now Bruton with the play call. Of course, as the foul there on Griffiths, the Bruton family, very synonymous with basketball in this country, of course. Cal Bruton, a uh, NBL championship winner, an NBL Hall of Fame. Of course, CJ, his son, uh, a championship, a six-time championship winning player and uh, current coach of the LA 36ers. They got the win last night in New Zealand, which was great to see. Caleb Nash, of course, his old man Mark, played for the LA 36ers as well. Jordan Walker. Couldn't get that to go, but of course Walker will be looking for more opportunities within the M NBL One South competition next season for the Chargers. You would think if he makes it back into that squad. And of course we have a lot of up-and-comers here. We'll try and give you information as we roll along here about all these players. Luke Moore, who comes from Hobart Phoenix, couldn't get that shot to go, but a, a knockdown uh, lights-out shooter, not, but not on that occasion, but certainly when he can get going, he's one of the toughest players to stop. Collins now, he's Walker once again. Now Isaac Collins from deep, couldn't get that to go. Rebound, and now quickly up the floor here. Moore now working his way through. Strasma for three, can't get that to go. Griffiths with a rebound back in the Strasma for the two. Couldn't get that to go as well too. Now we're quickly up the floor here once again as Walker for another three. Just maybe needs to call the Chets here. And geez, the old lady down there nearly got taken out. Hope she's okay down there. Collins. Now Walker going up strong and off glass gets another two. So quickly up the floor. Aaron pass there by Griffiths as Alex Best Bestwick uh, introduced himself to the score table. Uh, substitutions here. Who else was coming in there? Jack, I see Jack Howlett coming in. Of course, Jack Howlett is from Hobart Phoenix as well too. Cal Bruton just uh, uh, chiming in on the coverage there. Hello to you, Cal. Great to have you watching and uh, great to have you with us once again on our live streams. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Stuart from deep couldn't get that to go. Good rebound by Howlett there and gets the two. So good work there by Jack Howlett, putting himself in a really good position and getting that one to go. Uh, Walker goes up, uh, drew the foul on Stewart, and Jordan Walker will go back to line for two. Of course, folks, the text line is always open. We do appreciate the uh, the, the messages. Yes, hello, hello, yes. I've got my phone right near me tonight. No JB tonight. He um, fair to say that JB is proud and a proud member of the Jack Jumpers, and has decided to go to the game that's on tonight. We'll, we'll keep everyone informed of the um, the scoreline here as well too of how they're going up against Melbourne United down from My State Bank Arena and um, we'll certainly give you, provide you updates. But JB, he's uh, not here, so I'm, I'm doing everything tonight. Camera work, 
commentating and a uh, foul there on Brooklyn Brew. So we, uh, we're doing it all tonight. It is a one-man show up upstairs here at Rain. It certainly always helps when you can chime in on the text line and help, help us out. So Moore now putting it to the floor. Here's Hargraves. Now down low to Davey. Good pass in the Stewart on the backdoor cut. Really good block by uh, Fletcher Rose there. And now ball quickly up the floor here. Walker once again into Rose. And then, well, how had a piece of that? And Davey was able to pick that one up. Now Hargraves here. Now ball getting moved around. Davey working his way inside. The veteran up with that hook shot. Just couldn't get that one to go. Best hook with a rebound who also played with the university basketball team uh, this year for UTAS as well too. Of course, UBL having a, a lights-out kind of season as Bruton, who put on a show throughout the, throughout the uh, UBL season, continues strong on that play there. Great work by Brooklyn Bruton. And now Moore up the floor here. Here's Hargraves. The Swisher team looking for a good set on this play. Here's Davies, a little bit two-man action. Kick out pass, more for three. Just couldn't get that one to go. Stewart with the rebound, couldn't get the put back, but Hargraves there to clean it all up, and he'll get the two. So Bruton with the play calling duties here. And now go to Bestwick from deep. In and out on that one. Two pieces of the room, bad success. Stuart quickly up the floor. He's more into Howler. Great, great running there by the Swisher crew. And they get that too. So 22 21 our scoreline. We, uh, we endeavour when we get a full crew back. We'll certainly have a live scoreboard on our screen. But I'm hoping you can pick it up in the background as well, too. And we'll keep you updated here. About a minute or so to go as Rose finishes that one nicely. And the UTAS team retake the lead here, 23-22. So ball quickly up the floor here is Moore. And then a series of handoffs there. And Stewart got it. Now back over to Hargraves here. Hargraves putting it to the floor now. Shot clock at six, so they'll need to get busy. Hargraves with a small push-off, but... Referees will let that one play. Nash now with it. Rose, here's Walker. Walker now putting it to the floor. Kick out pass. Bestwick at the corner. He got fouled. And Alex Bestwick will go to line for three. 36.1 remaining here. No, it will not be three shots. Uh, they're saying the foul occurred after the shots or after Bestwick. Uh, landed, therefore his shot had finished technically. Backdoor play into Walker for the two. Nice pass. And great play by the, by the university team who are, you know, finding they were slow start, but they've found their way in this last, you know, five or so minutes in this first quarter and done a really good job of pegging this back. Ferguson, he's Howlett now on the catch. And then good D by uh, Bruton and Rose there. And then good hands by the veteran, Dwayne Davey. But it came back to Bruton, who now makes the play call here. Game clock at three. Bruton will need to get busy. Step back three is just not, just off on that one. And quarter time sees the university team up by three after they trailed early in this first quarter. As much as by 11, uh, 25 to 22 here. So great to have you with us. Fire the Charges TV YouTube channel and a big thank you to your electrical services. Your electrical services. If you ever need them, get in get in touch with them. Um, you know, either through through the socials or um, we don't have a number that we can plug. But um, yeah, for any of your electrical needs or installments and, and whatnot, your electrical services are the people to go to. So a massive thank you to them who are helping out with the live stream tonight. Always great to have sponsors on board uh, with us. Makes our job a whole lot easier uh, in this caper, that is for sure. As we mentioned, a little bit of, a little bit of basketball tonight. Uh, not only basketball here, basketball down at My State Bank Arena as the NBL is in town with the Tasmanian Check Jumpers taking on Melbourne United. And as we mentioned, if you are tuning into this or if you've got two screens on throughout the night, good on you. Uh, we'll certainly provide some score updates as we as we go along here uh, this, uh, this evening as well too. A beautiful day here in Hobart. Uh, certainly the uh, the weather has, has really 
Uh, fair to say the weather has cleared up after what was a crazy uh, weekend, of, uh, weekend of weather last weekend. Now, let's see. So the Swisher team are going to uh, kick things off here as Davey inbounds that one. And off to Griffiths we go. So second quarter underway here. As we work our way through, Stewart now. Now ball with Davey as that ball goes out of bounds. So, play to restart here. Davey. And then, well that ball got deflected so, now the ball with, well the ball went to Walker. Nash had a piece of that as well too. Put up shot, couldn't get it to go. Rose couldn't get the tip either. And now back to Ferguson we go. He, he goes up strong. Good D by Bestwick here. So the ball now with Griffiths. Davey here with it at the elbow. Looking for Stewart here. Stewart putting it to the floor. He pulls up rejected by Bestwick. And now ball quickly up the floor here. Walker, who's having some presence in this game, gets another layup. And that's another basket for him. So Griffiths looking to respond here. Griffiths, nice attack to the rim and really good finish there. Harry Griffiths, of course, played with the Chargers this year. And when we took a, took a game down to Sorrell, I tell you what, he was certainly the, uh, the hometown boy. And didn't they make some noise when he hit a three? And on this occasion here, Jordan Walker got fouled by Stewart on the three. So Jordan Walker will go back to line here for two. I'm sure throughout this uh, roster as well too, there'll be uh, a bit of banter, there'll be a bit of, fi there'll be a bit of fire, there'll be a bit of gusto, I reckon. So there'll certainly be um, certainly be some edge to this. Um, that is for sure. So uh, looking forward to these games. Um, so we have Swisher. Now, I did get a list of the teams. Um, we'll try and go through that at some stage. So... Maybe leave it with Swisher, Utahs, Titans, and I think it was Gladiators. I'm pretty sure. We'll get it. We'll double check that in in a moment, or if we get a timeout here now, quickly up the floor as the Utahs boys ran out of space. Anthony Stewart kind of want, kind of wanting some some structure here on this play, and he'll probably get it now, hopefully, as the boys look to run their set. Now Griffiths, he's Stewart. Now Ferguson into Davey down low as they go to work here. Back to Strasma, he's working his way through. They need to get a shot up here and too little too late on that occasion as, um, as the Swisher boys just run out of time on that one. Now. Walker, who's had a good has had a good first half at this at this point in time, gives off to Bestwick. Bestwick on the drive, wraparound pass. Walker, Walker looking to finish, couldn't get that to go. Now ball with Stewart here once again, Davy, and then backdoor play in the Griffiths kick out pass. Ferguson now step back three is just short, and. Good box out there by Jordan Walker, who, uh, and of course Jordan Strassman just had to overplay that a little bit, and uh, unfortunately had to uh, had the foul. Substitutions here: Jordan Hargrave coming in for Dwayne Davey. Fletcher O saying he's 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 got he's found who he wants to um, match up on. So, of course you can probably hear a few things for our fix Mike. We've got that right up and up and. Up and loud tonight as well too. So sounds of the game as well you'll hear throughout. As Collins couldn't get that to go. And then Stewart marches his way through and offensive foul has been called. Alex Bestwick had positioning there as Stewart tried to clear out. And unfortunately took out took out Bestwick and offensive foul there. So and a bit of a wet spot out on the floor. And just have a look at it, folks. Uh, I'll see if I can get that camera. 24, so... 
And we have it in the backcourt, so we'll go to Bruton here. Bruton with the play call now. So Bruton, Collins, trying to go back to Bruton on that backdoor play, but Griffith's equal to it. Now Bruton, we've seven on the shot clock, needs to get busy. Bruton looking to go to work, out the best week. Bestwick throws up a tough one, couldn't get that to go. And now Hargrave quickly up the floor here. Good running by Strasma. Is that a goaltending? No, referees didn't see it that way, so play continues on. And now Bestwick looking to punish them. And now Brian Bruden and now Walker, but Walker was out of bounds. And that will not count. And ball goes out of play. Jordan Strasma trying to state his case there, but I don't think he's going to get anywhere there with referee Jordan Cooper. So play will continue. It's now Griffiths now. Going hard at it with, with Bruton. Good, good contest here. Paul Stewart. Now ball getting moved around. Griffiths looking to go to work. Goes up. Couldn't get that two to go. And in good hands by Griffiths. Good save there by the youngster. Strasma, now Hargrave. Back out to Ferguson here. Ferguson, who got some court time as well, too, with the Chargers this year in NBL 1 South. Stewart couldn't find an opening. Shot goes up, and that is a 24 second shot clock violation. So, there's people. There's, sorry, Luke Moore checking into the game. I was just going to say, a couple of people come up to the bar area. Uh, of course, that's our broadcast area up here as well, too. So I don't know if we've got access to the fridge. <laughs> Fair to say that there'll be, I don't know if light refreshments could be available tonight, but hopefully in uh, future games uh, they'll be able to get the bar open and get some people up here as well, too. Brunin from downtown, if you don't mind. Brunin with that nice stroke and able to knock down the three. And now all of a sudden we're out to a nine-point lead. 33-26. You can make it a seven-point ball game now on that Griffiths layup. So Brunin with the play call here. Brunin found an opening. Puts on the Jets. And can he get it to go? Yes, with a bit of body English on it as well too. Brunin won a foul. Referees didn't see it that way as play continues on. But... Great, great hard nose play there by Brooklyn Bruin attacking the rim strong and really getting that first step going to get to get on Harry Griffiths. Poor pass by Moore and Walker will make him pay. So margin out back to 11 here. 37-26, just on 450 remaining in the second quarter as we come to you from the Rain Sports Centre. The Rain Basketball Stadium, I should mention, by Chargers TV as Jordan Strasma gets the two to go. And substitution here, time, time out call. Here by Anthony Stewart. 4.41 remaining, 37 to 28, a nine point lead now. As we'll check the stream there, lovely, all good. And let's see, so Mark, of course, Mark Nash unavailable tonight, who's the head coach of the university team, of course, Mark Nash. Uh, with commitments with ABC Radio locally here for, for Grandstand and calling the game with Chris Robottom. So um, we might as well plug all the radio stations here. SEN, uh, Tassie, is also covering the game as well too. You can hear uh, Flash, uh, David Lifko, and Chris Simons on the call there. And, of course, uh, and of course if you have uh, pay TV, it is on ESPN. Uh, for those watching, and, and and for those that are watching here, and you know, again, if you've got two screens on tonight, excellent. If not, if you're tuning in to us, we'll, we'll certainly uh, give you some updates as we go along here. So, a good Friday night in here at the Moraine Basketball Stadium as we come to you live from from Moraine on a Friday night. As I mentioned, just a one-man crew tonight here. JB at the JJ's. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Cameraman Sam is away currently at the moment. And, and of course, we'll uh, give you some details at halftime of what else is coming up as well, too. We have a big month of coverage coming up um, in regards to other basketball events happening as well. So we'll get that to you ASAP. Meanwhile, best we couldn't get that shot to go. 
And now more here with it as he attacks the rim, goes up strong. Rowe's got a piece of that as well too. And now Bruin once again here. Bruin trying to put on the skates. Good work by Griffiths and then good hands by, uh, well, he, good hands by Griffiths. Nonetheless, he goes up. Rowe's had good defense there. And foul on the play. Oh, went in. There you go. Griffiths with the and one play. And he'll go to the line for one here. So Griffiths at the line. And knocks that one down. So there you go. Collins now with it. Rose fires for three is way off. And now ball with Hargrave here as Hargrave puts it to the floor. Go, tried to go in the spin cycle, but that was never on. Now Bruden with it here quickly up the floor. Bruden potentially got fouled, but Nash able to pick up the scraps. And eight-point ball game here. 39-31 our scoreline. Dest on three and a half to go here before the major break. Ball here with Moore. Moore thought about it, but... Goes to Strasma. Strasma fires for three. Can't get that to go. Now best to equip it here as we come up the floor. Good bounce pass into Nash. Back in the rows to Bruden. Pretty play by the Utah side. And Bruden will go to line for two. Nice teamwork there by the boys there to really move that ball around quick. And then, and then Bruden to go straight cut and attack the rim. So good work there by, by Bruden. So... Substitution, Fletcher Ruse are coming out. I see Harry Griffiths coming out. And then, I don't know, Ferguson coming off as well too. So a few changes here as Bruden goes to the line for two. Can't knock down the first. And Bruden knocks down the second. So nine points are margin here, 40 to 31 here. As Moore now works his way inside. Nice move by Luke Moore. Great, great protection of the ball and great work try get them, getting that one to the rim as well too. Good work there by Luke. Ball with, ball with Collins here. Good hands by Hargraves there. Now Moore with once again. Good pass into Stewart. Need run the real estate. Strasma for three is off on that occasion. And now Bruden here with some nice moves as we quickly come up the floor. Bruden kick out pass. Nash thought about it, going to work here. Back to Collins. Collins now looking, go, going to shot himself. And it was a good option for Isaac Collins, who did a great job staying patient and then found that shot he was looking for. And back court. As Luke Moore went back and over the timeline. Fletcher Rose coming in. No, Fletcher Rose is giving the high five with Dwayne Davey coming in for Jordan Strasma. Shot clock at 14. It has in their front court. And now Walker from deep. Can't get that to go. Rebound by Howlett. And now more here with it as we come back down the floor. Hargrave's working down low. Goes up, gets the two. Now, Bruden here with it. Kick out pass. Best week for three. He's off on that one. And in good hands by Moore. Stewart is clear. And Best week got a piece of it, but done illegally, according to referee Beck Rumble. Archie Stewart at the line here for two. Walks down the first, of course, his dad Anthony coaching once again. We're not sure about the future of Anthony Stewart in regards to the head coaching role, the Hobart Chargers. Uh, there's a little bit of talk going around that, that this season that's just gone was could have been his last. We'll certainly have more for you uh, from Chargers TV soon. We'll certainly have the news up on the social media as well. So stand by. We do have an end-of-season show coming up very soon indeed for you. So we'll have to have more news there. Meanwhile, Collins gets a two down low. 
as I mentioned, myself and JB will be back on, we'll record that show in the next few weeks, certainly before Christmas, before the big before the big guy rolls into town. Jeez, if we're thinking about Christmas now, we are, we are so close from that as well too. Meanwhile, Stewart looking for a nice present there, couldn't get that two to go. Now Walker, we would hear as we come back up the floor and our oh, pretty pass into Bestwick who gets the two. Nice play there, really good grab back uh, behind the back pass there by Walker. So nice work there. Hargrave into Davey. Davey going to work. Uh, and the veteran does nice and easy there. Getting it done, as always. So Nash. Rudin fires from deep. That nearly from Canberra itself. Good rebound by Collins. Now back out to Walker. Now Walker putting it to the floor. Collins, shot clock at two. Collins with a prayer, not there. And Howlett, now more quickly up the floor here as we slow this one down. Final play, 10 seconds left here before the major break. And then we'll, we'll just go to break quietly. Here we go, so more now from deep. Can't get that one to go. And now Bruden for the Hail Mary. That's after the event. And an entertaining first half sees the Utahs team up by seven. It is 46 to 39 by the Chargers TV YouTube channel. We are coming to you live from Rain. We'll take a quick break and we'll come back with the second half. Second half about to get underway here, and we are underway anyway. And the Utahs are up by seven at the moment, 46-39 as Bruton now. Here's Nash. Bruton once again here with the play calling duties. Out to Collins here, working his way inside. Collins and offensive foul with that off arm. So a little bit similar in the NBL where the referees are, are certainly uh, making a focal point on, on the on the off arm and certainly no love loss there in, in that situation uh, on, on that particular call. So Howlett from deep, yes. Jack Howlett from downtown, of course. Jack Howlett, a bit of a streaky shooter as well and he can certainly light it up when needed. Walker thought about it, marching back to, to four. Still at four after that miss from Jordan Walker. 
Jamie Strassman with it. Now Howlett. He thought about it. Now looking to go to work here. Goes to Strassma. Pull up from the elbow. Just sure on that one. Davey slipped, but he's okay. Nash now with it here. Kick out pass. Bruden from deep. Yes, Brooklyn Bruden continuing some good form that he had in the first half. And showing us he can knock that three ball down. Like he always does. Bruden, and Bruden feels like he's in that zone as well too. Griffiths, good cut. And got the and got the two. So Bruden. And just getting harassed there by Davey a little bit, so foul on the plate. Walker with it. He gets it back off the inbound. Now he fires for three and gets it to go down. And has some advice as well too for the uh, Swisher bench. And back out to an eight-point ball game we go. 52-44 our scoreline here. Stewart tacks the rim strong and gets the two there. So end-to-end -end stuff by both teams here. Bruin working his way through now. Kick out to Rose. Nash now slowing this one down. Needs help, goes back to Bruden. Shot clock at five. Bruden needs to get busy. Bruden with a floater. Couldn't get that roll. Strassman with the rebound. Now Griffiths here with it. Griffiths working his way through. Stewart at the corner. Stewart out of bounds. And ball goes back to the UTAS team. So I think it looks like Jordan Walker. Looks like Jordan Walker with all the uh, instructions and play calling duties here for the UTAS team in the absence of Mark Nash. As Walker with Walker. And then Davey with a bit of pressure there, but Walker got through. Nash from deep, couldn't get it to go. And then, well, Rose was in there. He wanted a foul. Referees let that play. Strassman now is clear and gets a nice layup for us there. Of course, um, yes, Chavi with that famous line will not be used tonight. If, if we do see someone get up and dunk, we'll certainly have our own creativity. Bruden from deep couldn't get that to go. Rebound by Davey, and Davey nearly lost the handle, I think, there, but Stewart able to recover. And then risky pass, good read by Nash. Ball was out of play and goes back to the Swisher team. Shot clock at 14. You can probably hear that through our freaks mic. Through Jordan Cooper. And the ball Davey. Davey pulls up. Has one of the most interesting jump shots I've seen in my two decades here living in Hobart. But certainly uh, that, that jump shot time and time again has proven worthy to be a good one. Bruden lost it there. Good D by Griffiths. Griffiths attacking the rim down the other end. Couldn't get that to go. Now the ball with Walker. Now quickly back up the floor we go to Bruden. Walker putting with good hands by Griffiths once again. And quick foul on the play. And shot will, uh, there'll be no shot on the play. It would just be a substitution. Which we'll see for timeout. No, timeout being called here. Six minutes and three six minutes and three seconds to go. 52-50. The Utah's team lead it by a slender two point two point basket. So and Right now, this game's probably at a nice edge. We, we wonder which team will probably really open up the flight gates here, but good work by both teams on the defensive end. Um, it's been more of a defensive grind in this third quarter um, after what was a very good first half of, of the basketball, both ends of the floor. So let's see what happens in this, uh, in this last six minutes or so. I expect both teams to come out strong here. And again... Probably for both teams, just at, at times maybe just to slow down a little bit, get through some sets, um, just find it, find a good look. Obviously, Utah's you know well known to each other. Those boys will know what they need to need to do. And Jordan Walker out there certainly with the play calling duties. And 
for the squisher team well anthony stewart has a very good team here and and, and it's shown to be a good team just trying to i think some of those boys just trying to get familiarized with each other causing these kind of somewhat um uh, tournaments or uh, these uh, short rosters. Obviously, you play with guys that you might not have played before, so it does take a game or two to set a win. So we'll see what happens. Meanwhile, best we couldn't get the two to go. Off some really good passing there, and now Griffiths now slowing this one down and waiting for the trips to come. So Griffiths now kicks it out. Here's Strasma. He Looks the fire from deep. He didn't want. He didn't want it. Now Davy going to work. One on one with Collins. Davy, nice turnaround. Jay he is short on that one. Good work by Griffiths on the scraps. So we are now tied at 52 with five and a half remaining here in the third quarter. And this game is flying by, which is good. And it's been a busy Friday here in Hobart. And as Walker gets double teamed, Nash now with it. Back to Walker. Walker, now Collins, into Nash on the backdoor play, couldn't get it to go. And then Strassler with the rebound. Now over we go to Hell. Now Davey with it. Davey into Strassler, Strassler going to work there and getting the two. So now Swisher take the lead for the first time in a little while here. Bruden attacking the rim strong. He gets it to go. He'll go to the line for one. Great drive there by Brooklyn Bruden, who's been aggressive and going hard at the rim and rewarded on that play. So, here we go. So Bruden here. At the line, Anthony Stewart. I don't know what Stewie's barking at. I don't know what Stewie is barking out there, so interesting. This would be interesting post game. Put it that way. Meanwhile, Howlett. Now Ferguson. Back there, so ball went to Howlett in Ferguson. Now Strasma here. Strasma looking to go to work. Pull up Jay for two is not there. And. Ball. Black ball. Yep, last touch by Bruton, so. Black boys, the uh, headsets finally come come to life here. As we, as we, as myself and JB worked out, if the headsets do kind of go berserk in our ears, we know we, we our audio is still on. So um, that's a good thing. It's just internally, sometimes you can't hear it. As Griffiths couldn't get that to go. Good rebound by Howlett. He missed a sitter. As Howlett needs to kick this one back out. Strasma for the finishing touches. He's back on edge. And good work by Davey and foul on the play. It's going to, it's going to be on Nash. Just bring that mic down a little bit. There we go. Griffiths. Now to Davey. Howler for three. Couldn't get that to go. Brew with the rebound. Bruden looking for Nash off the two-man game. Bruden and Nash, the two famous names combined as Bestwick gets the throw to go down. So nice work by the UTAS team. And all of a sudden, this game is back to a uh, four-point lead for UTAS here. So ball with Ferguson. Now Strasma with it here for three. And knocks that one down. Back to a one-point ball game. Three and a bit to go here in the third. Walker for the response. Missed everything. Now Howlett with it. Howlett putting it to the floor. Oh, sorry. Strasma putting it to the floor and knocks down another three. Jordan Strasma retaking the lead for his Swisher side, who are up by two now, 60 to 58. So ball getting moved around here. Bruden from Canberra itself couldn't get that to go. Still has the ACT uh, number plates on his car. <laughs> we won't reveal any further than that with the car. But anyway, meanwhile, we're moving right along here. Strasma have not kicked out pass. But again, the, these players are getting caught out on these um, on the short corner there at the, uh, the three. So 
bit of a that's a bit of a pit hate when you uh, have that happen. That's for sure. You can hear the boys with their play call. So we'll see what they can execute off this play. And nice backdoor play. Bruton into Walker. And well executed on that. So the ball with more here. More. Now Ferguson. Ferguson looking to go. Uh, sorry, Strassman now. Into more. More for a long two. Put in line. And foul on the play. And it's going to be on. And it's going to be on Hargrave. And apologies for any uh, profanity. If you okay. hear through our screens. Yeah, of course, we are live from the Warren Basketball Stadium. And I'm hoping the players will know that too. Massive thank you to you Electrical Services as well too for their sponsorship in this. As Bruno knocks down a three, you might as well give that uh, another plug there as well too. Bruno from downtown. As Nash goes, uh, sorry, not Nash, uh, Griffiths goes up and he gets a two. We're getting names muddled left, right, center here, folks. It's been a long day. Strasmar. Best trick on the foul, referees the 11th play. As Bruton now putting it to the floor here. Bruton kick out pass. Nash, Rose, they all combine here. Now back to Walker. Walker attacks the rim nicely and gets the two to go. So marching back out to three here. 65 62, just on a minute remain. Quick double team arrived there for Strasma. Uh, now Griffiths now here looking for an opening. Step back two years, just long. And now Walker with it. So Walker, as the boys tell him to slow down, Walker wants to continue on with wraparound pass. Best to get the corner for three. Couldn't get that to go. And rebound by Griffiths. Now play quickly back up the floor here. And more slowing this one down to Griffiths here. And that wasn't a bad option as they get into a, a quick set here. So Griffiths now looking for Hargrave. Hargrave going to work. Kick out pass. Ferguson for three is short on that one. Bruton slowing this one down. Game clock and shot clock at about a three second differential here. And it's Bruton with a play call in the duties. So Bruton probably going one four flat here. Shot clock at six as Bruton needs to get busy now. Bruton working his way inside and gets a turn to go. Nice work by Brooklyn Bruton on that play. And now quick Hail Mary play up the floor and Walker on after the event. Can't get it to go. Three-quarter time here in what was a very good third quarter. Uh, CCU test team up by five. It's 67 to 62. And this is all thanks to your electrical services, of course. Get in touch with the guys there at your electrical services, and they'll certainly help you out with whatever in whatever you need. And uh, definitely, um, definitely uh, 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 we're, we're, sorry. Uh, very appreciative of their of their sponsorship here for us tonight as well. Good to see a few people in. Of course, this was kind of a bit of a you know, not a late notice, but there was certainly a bit of there was some notice yesterday or the day before about um, about the coverage. So, um, so great to uh, have you here. As um, again, just checking the text line and. Just seeing uh, if anyone's chimed in. Of course, yeah, just, just hit us up on social media. Uh, Ron Riggs in commentary with you here, of course, and uh, gr great, to have you, great to have you with us as we come to you from Rain. Of course, no, no JB with me tonight. He's, uh, he's gone to the JJ's game. Of course, when you're a diehard member and you paid up plenty of money, then I suppose that's, that's a good thing as, as, as well, too. Yep, absolutely. Cal Bruton ch chiming in. I appreciate that because I'll piggyback off to that point. Yes, Jordan Walker and, and, Brook and Brooklyn doing a fantastic job. Um, really steering the ship for this UTAS team. And have been really much the trendsetters we've, we've in it. Uh, really dominant from the word go. And, you know, they've certainly found their shots but utilised um, uh, others as well too. So it's been really good to see two good up-and-coming young players but also two really good two playmakers as well too uh, to really spark this UTAS team and get going. They are going to be a joy to watch next season, that is for sure. Meanwhile, Howard on the M1 play gets it to go down. So appreciate the uh, appreciate the uh, thoughts there, Cal, because 
I need something to piggyback off, and, and that certainly helped me there. So Caleb Nash coming in for Fletcher Rose, and um, Hallett here at the line for two. But, of course, half these boys uh, do study. If I had the other bit of paperwork, I'd tell you what they study at UTAS. It's um, in the other folder at home. Meanwhile, Bruden. We might bring it next week. Bestwick. Now Collins, he's Walker. As you mentioned, Walker with a really good game so far. I think either between him or Bruden, you would say, would be MVP of the game so far. Meanwhile, Ferguson joins in, finally joins into the party after a little bit of a cold streak now. Back up the floor here is Collins. He lost it. Bestwick. Now Bruden from deep. Yes! Big three in the context of this game early on in the fourth quarter. And that was a pretty shot. Everyone got a good view of that one at home, folks. And Bruin knocking down that three nicely. So Griffiths now. Hargraves. Howlett now putting it to the floor. Howlett and offensive foul there. And good read there by Jordan Walker to uh, be ready. And uh, Howlett just run that one in. And so pretty easy call for the officials. And... We may need to attend a wet spot here, so I'm hoping there's a towel. Anyone got a towel? Fletcher Rose is volunteering on that forefront, and looks like Isaac Collins will do uh, Jando or Judy. Probably the only other thing we need around the stadium, and there's a towel, and for someone that match matches here on the first day night in junior competitions, I feel to say we might as well bring some towels over for him. 8.57 remaining, Utah's leader by three at the moment, 70 to 67 as we come to you via Chargers TV on our YouTube channel. So great to have you with us. Um, and this is probably the uh, first time in a long time we've actually live streamed by the Chargers TV YouTube channel. And the last time was um, the uh, preliminary final back in 2016 uh, between Hobart and Albury. Um, Hobart, and I'm pretty sure Hobart and Mount Gambier as well too. We had two live streams that season. Of course, Chargers runners up in that season in the Seabull Southern Conference uh, back in the old SCABL days before it was known now as the NBL1. Of course, you can catch all the action of NBL1 next year. We'll have more news for you on Chargers TV coming up in about, about a month's time. Me and JB will wrap up this season. Walk on the tip. Gets it to go. So Jordan Walker having a good game. I don't have his numbers, unfortunately, for you, but we'll certainly try and um, certainly try and get a uh, score sheet of something upstairs here, and we'll try and get some further information. Now Stewart now working his way inside. Tough look, and draws the foul. Walker is trying to claim the foul, but Brooklyn Bruden will get the foul nonetheless. So Jordan Walker trying to save his teammate. Bruden saying he's straight up. Referee Jordan Cooper uh, joining into the conversation and letting them know what the foul was for. There's Archie Stewart here at line for two. I don't think either of them were in foul trouble, so, I mean, either way, you could, um, I think one of them could take a foul, no problem at all. <laughs> um, Stewart goes 2-2, two two. we're back to three points now. 72 to 59, uh, 72, sorry, to 69, our uh, scoreline here. As now Bruno with the ball carried Judy's once again. He's Walker. Walker, turn around. Jay is no good. And Davy with the rebound. So Davy now getting a little bit stuck, able to get out that one. Now the Swisher crew able to get it out. Strasma from deep. Yes, Jordan Strasma, who had a really, as we mentioned, a good under 22 season, has really stepped up this year overall, has, a, has had somewhat a bit of a breakout year. and. Um, Certainly doing a good job. Certainly one of those players to watch that is for sure. Meanwhile, Bruden now putting on some moves. Goes, has to go back to Collins. Now Collins putting it to the floor. Here's Nash. Shot clock at three. Collins fires from deep. Couldn't get it to go. Strassman with the rebound. And now Howland. So now Strassman working his way inside. It goes up and gets the two. So nice work there by Jordan Strassman. And timeout caught because Swisher retake the lead here. 74 to 72 with 6.48 remaining here in the last quarter. And then
Just quickly checking the text line and um, again, uh, much appreciation from uh, Cal Bruton as well. Great to great to hear your thoughts as well too. So just quickly, we're just quickly checking some some things. Yeah, of course, a, a a nice Friday here in Hobart, weather-wise. Beautiful day. And uh, after a wild weekend, last weekend weather was, we're finally seeing some nice weather down here. Uh, been a busy day, of course, it's, it's the show week down here as well too, so um, some schools had today off as well, so, um, so I'm sure everyone has been enjoying the, uh, the Royal Hobart show. And of course, uh, I'm sure there'll be a f a f about 4,300 4, odd people down in my state bank arena getting ready for the Jackies game against Melbourne United. So a few more people walking into the building, as we can see there, Josh Yule. He's going to have a bit of a run tonight as well too, so good to see him. And, and a massive thank you, of course, to Yule Electrical Services um, for sponsoring our, our live stream tonight as well too. Much appreciation um, to, to you and the, to, to, to Sam and the team there. And um, uh, great, great that we can get, get some sponsorship on board if you're interested. Reach out. We'll certainly have a talk with you. That is for sure. Always looking for some sponsors. Meanwhile, shot, shot couldn't go there for Bestwick. Nash now back to Walker here. Walker, wraparound pass. Bestwick at the corner for three. That was really good vision by Jordan Walker too to find that open man in the corner. And now Hargraves here. Here's Davey. Davey has seen some good court time here today, the veteran. There's Strasma going to work. And ball goes out of bounds. So the uh, Swisher team will get it back. And now timeout here. So Anthony Stewart deciding to use some timeouts here. We might just now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try something here. We're gonna try on now. We put, we may get the back of him here, but we might try and. I oh know he's standing up. But hang on. Let's uh, let's try something new here while we're doing things solo here. Let's um let's let's zoom in. So let's see what what Stewie's got for us here. So we might just hold on that shot there. That will dip a bit more, won't it? Oh oh well. Okay. Oops. Apologies, folks. We're just teasing with the camera. So Stewie drawing up a play here. Dwayne Davey also getting involved in the conversation as well too. And we'll see what they we'll see what they come up with. As so they come back out onto the floor. We'll just follow Jack Howley here for a bit and then we'll just zoom out. As we say, we're trying some new things here. We're really going to try and lock that off there. There we go. I think that works. There we go. I think that looks all right there. We might just zoom out a tad more. There we go. All right, play, play to restart. And Strasma now into... That was Howlett for three. So there was the design play. And then all of a sudden, Walker clear for takeoff and gets the two. Now the ball with Strasma here. Strasma. Now to Hargrave. Hargrave for three. Couldn't get that to go. Now Nash. He's brooding, brooding fires from deep. He's back on there. Best we can get the O board. Now back to Bruden we go. So Bruden looking for an on ball here. Bruden though goes solo. Tries to split for a couple, but unfortunately run down to real estate. Meanwhile now Howlett. He's Stewart. To Howlett, Davey, and now Strassman. They all combine on this. Here we go. Pick and roll play, kick out pass. Hargrave for three. Yes, Jordan Hargrave's from downtown. So lead out to three now for the Swisher crew. They lead at 77 74 here. Just a tick on four and a bit minutes to go here in the last as Bruden. Fights through traffic and will be draw and draws foul on the Archie Stewart. 
And it's five, per oh, it's five personal on Archie Stewart, so he's out of the game. So, play to, re play to restart here. Ball back with Bruden. Bruden, nice crossover. Floater is just off. And then good hits up play by Hargrave, who was able to hit that one off Nash. And play continues. Rippets here. Into Hargrave. Fires the three and gets it to go down. Jordy Hargrave from downtown. And now all of a sudden the lead out to six. So the Swisher team have done a good job here of pegging their way back into this ball game and now finding a six point lead for themselves. Walker. Bestwick to cut this marching down. You betcha. Alex Bestwick from downtown. And it's a three to go. So back to a three point ball game. 80 to 77 here on score line. Strassman getting double teamed. Now Howlett with it here. Cross court pass. Hargrave. Davey. Strassman now working his way inside. Going up strong. Kick out pass. Griffiths for three. Yes, Harry Griffiths from downtown. Now we're really getting into some clutch time here. Walker. Nash putting it to the floor. Kick out pass. Collins from the deep is short on that one. Gets his own rebound. Now Walker this time. Yes. Jordan Walker brings it back to three points. 83-80. And pressure quickly up the floor here. And Strassman now with it. Strassman getting double teamed towards the halfway line. Just out of picture there, folks. But they're able to get out of that nicely. And now Strassman for three. Yes, end-to-end -end stuff here from the Rain Basketball Stadium. Trust you are enjoying the coverage here on Chargers TV. Where the big boys come out to play, and we're certainly seeing that right now. Can we have a shootout? You betcha we can have a shootout from the Rain Basketball Stadium. It is heating up at the right time. Griffiths now putting it to the floor. Hargrave, will he join in the party? Let's see if we find out. Here's Strasma. Griffiths, why not? In and out on that one. Two pieces of the rim about success. And Caleb Nash with a very mature play there, calling the play and now slowing this one for the troops. Really good, really good um, uh, veteran uh, <laughs> leadership on that one. Walker couldn't get it to go on that play. And now ball quickly up the floor here. And Strasma into Griffiths. Back to Hargrave here. So under two minutes now. Swisher team leader by three. Griffiths at the corner here, working his way inside. Looking for Davey, double team arrives. Good work by Davey to get out of that one. Strasma for three once again, couldn't get it to go. And a good shot by Davey and Griffiths. And now Strasma, Hargrave, yes. So eight point, so five points on margin, 88-83. Just under 100 seconds to play. Last quarter here from Moraine. And it's been an absolute nice little shootout here to really finish this game off as Nash. Gruden from deep once again and gets it to go down from downtown. Back to two we go. Strassman now. This game ain't over by a long shot. Do we play OT in this comp? I assume we do. Now Griffiths here working his way inside. Howard for three just off Griffiths. Oh, sorry, Hargrave there could, went up and got the two. Bruton hit the floor and timeout called by Anthony Stewart. And margin at four here, 90 to 86, 55.3 seconds to go. And no timeout on the plate. So I'm not sure what the timing rules are in this competition as well too. I'll, I'll try and get some more information as we as we go along throughout the course tonight. So we head downstairs and may have a quick chat with a couple of the uh, the organisers. Meanwhile, Bruden now looking to attack strong and draws the foul and Dwayne Davy there just saved him nicely. So hard foul and Bruden here at the line for two. 
see Tracy Smith asking uh, games. Uh, yes. Yes. By, uh, whoops. As Bruden <laughs> he couldn't get that one to go. Of course, Brooklyn Bruden has had a very good game. Um, he is certainly lit up tonight, which is great to see. Now marching back to three or two, one or the other. Meanwhile, quick turnover and ball back to Nash here. So we didn't need to move the camera at all. Walker for the tie. Yes, we are tied and 90 apiece as Alex Bestwick comes off second best on that one. 36.4. And, and Anthony Stewart, well, I'm not sure what he wanted to time out. Did he want to time out? I don't think he was getting the one. So we are now tied at 90 apiece here. 36.4 remaining. This has been some sort of game. It's been great to see. So let's see who can get who can get the go-ahead bucket here. Griffiths. Now Strasma. Strasma looking for that on ball. Gets it now. Strasma looking to go to work. Looking to attack the rim. Goes up. Nice move. Couldn't get it to go. Kick out par of well, Griffiths saves it off the off the Davy rebound. Ball back to Hargrave. Shot clock at eight. Game clock at shot clock about two second differential. An offensive foul. That was a clear push off. And 5.2. Now we will get the time out here and let's see who will take the game winner. If if it's up for grabs. So tied at 90. The, the Swisher team just got a little bit caught out. I thought David did a good job of saving that on the rebound. And then they try to go on the on-ball there. I thought Strasma had a clear clear shot there. And then the kick-out pass. Let's say Bestwick is all right down there too. He was clutching at his shoulder throughout, throughout that play throughout. And, we'll, and uh, he seems to be okay down there by, by the looks of it. So Jordan Walker here with the play call. It looks like they're going to draw something up. Expect Bruden or Walker to take the shot, I'd reckon. Between what I of those, they'll certainly go up for it, that's for sure. Our next game coming up is between, well, I believe, now I'll try and get their team names as quickly. I believe it's uh, Gladiators and Titans, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if we can quickly find them. The, uh, the logos for some of these teams actually is quite, um, quite interesting. Ah, yes, Titans and Gladiators are the other two teams. There we go. So, all right. Play to restart here, so ball will be advanced. The referee's trying to work out who's actually coaching the team now, so uh, ball will be advanced anyway. Let's see what, what they've got here. 5.2 remaining here, 90 apiece. Utahs with a chance to win it. Walker to restart. Collins. Collins trapped at the corner here. Collins throws up a Hail Mary for the winner. Not there. We will go to overtime. Or will we call a draw? Let's find out what the go is down here. Is there OT? There is OT. I, mean, I can see a nod of the head. Are they going three minutes or five minutes? No, three minutes looks like the call downstairs. So we will go to overtime and three minutes it will be. So there we go. Just getting confirmation here. Like I say, we're not sure of every clock rule, game rule at the moment in this comp. Like I say, this comp only really got generated on last week and then really got some traction over last weekend and then going into this week. So um, again, I'll try and go downstairs shortly and find out the next game is supposed to start at 7.30. What time are we at? 7.08. So, yeah, we'll clearly get a warm-up of some sorts here or a nice clear, clear warm-up. So, interesting play call down towards the end. Collins uh, getting a bit stuck down in the corner. I thought a really good double team by the Swisher, the Swisher crew there to um, deny and then force Collins into a shot, which really, if that went down, that would have been, that would have been some way to finish off the game. So... Um, 
yeah, so let's see what happens in this uh, overtime period. So three minutes, and of course, it, as per overtime rules, everything stays the same from fouls to anything else. So no, five, no, three. Three, it says on the scoreboard. And possession arrow going to the UTAS team as well. So Caleb Nash is going to inbound this one in for us. And he's out of shot at the moment. We can't really get that camera angle down too deep. Will Ferguson let us know how he feels. Great to see. As we are underway here in overtime. We caught an overtime, we caught an overtime, uh, overtime game last week in Launceston. Here we go again. The second one in the space of about six days here at Ray. Nash inside on the air. Mini alley-oop. Caleb Nash. We were a nice, nice little uh, play there. So Griffiths now. Strasper. Back to Ferguson here. Griffiths finding an opening. Kick out pass. Ferguson goes up strong. Can't get it to go. Of course, the um, Archie Stewart has fouled out of this game as well too. So he hasn't seen any time since since late in the last quarter. Howland and Moore may come back into the game. We shall see what happens. Meanwhile, all Strasmer here. He fires from deep. He's sure now one. Bruton with the rebound. Now Bruton quickly up the floor here. Bruton thought about it, but turned it down. Collins. Look for Bruton on that cut and does so. Nice play. Kick out pass. Nash now. Walker from the corner for three. He's not there. Under two minutes now here in overtime. Griffiths. Now Davey and Strasma all combined. Here's Ferguson back to Davey. Kick out pass. And Nash, Bruden, Walker now. Back to Nash. Nash. Collins for the finishing touches. Not there. Griffiths working hard as ever. And good job by Griffiths there. Now we're quickly up the floor here. Strasma. Extra pass, Ferguson. Hargraves uh, from deep. Couldn't get that to go. Nash with the rebound. And now Bruno with Bruno now. Ding, ding, double. Now Nash open for three. Yes, Kayla Nash with the backbreaker right there. And now it's swung out to a five point lead for the Utah's team. Let's hope Mark Nash has got the live stream up down at the at, at the deck. Meanwhile, Strasma with that too. He'd be enjoying this if he was watching us. Now Bruden now putting it to the floor. Bruden kick out pass. Best week from deep. Can't get that to go. Bruden with the O board from out of nowhere. And now Walker to slow this one down. Three points on margin here. Walker putting it to the floor. Kick out pass. Bestwick for the dagger, but was out of court when he caught it. So Moore and uh, Howler coming in. So Anthony Stewart just going for a potent shooting line out on the floor with Strassman, Griffiths, and Moore and Hargraves out there. So we'll see what happens now. Three here would tie it. And let's see what they do. So Strasma trying to go step back, lost control, but and ball goes out of play, and Utah's get it back. Jordan Walker with the uh, with the advice out there to say to hold it, and um, you know, the foul the fouling game might come into play here. Twenty point eight remaining here as everyone is tying up. Bruno will get this in the backcourt now. They're gonna, it looks like they're going to play this out here. I just wonder if they got a foul here. Bruden now double teamed and a quick foul on the play which stops at that 12.8 and 15 foul for the Swisher of Crew so that will see Bruton back at the line for two. So Bruton here for two crucial free throws here in the context of this one. Knocks down the first. So out to four now so that makes it a bit tougher now for the Swisher team. And knocks down the second. So 
So ball quickly up the floor here. Moore with a quick two. Gets it. 8.6 back to three. So they'll quickly have to foul here, you would think, or they're going to let this one go. I think they are brutal. The exclamation point was short on that one. More for a tie. Not there, but an exciting game nonetheless. Sees the Utah's team get up by three. 97 to 94. And that was a that was a fun game to call and watch at the same time. So great work. Probably our MB, you nearly say our, our MVP would be Jordan Walker and Brooklyn Bruin. You can I couldn't split it. Um, but great game, great game all round. And I'm glad that game just fit into that SD card as well too. So we've got the hard copy uh, and um, good to. A good game all around. Good sportsmanship by all the fellas here. That's great to see as well, too. All right, we're going to have 15 minutes. We will take a break here from the Rain Basketball Stadium. We'll come back with the Titans and the Gladiators. A couple of interesting names right there. That is for sure. You are tuning in by Chargers TV here on the Chargers YouTube channel. We'll have more for you uh, in a little while. Stay with us.
All right, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the live stream here. Uh, game number two underway here tonight, and the uh, Gladiators, which are the... Um, now, I can tell you... I'll go back to where I was. I was just reading that up, and then... Oh, excuse me. Titans are in the purple in the purple tops and the gla gla gladiators are in the light blue tops so there you go and again we'll try and get through players and whatnot if we can if but if the scoring goes up then look out so game number two just about to get underway And let's see who's out on the four. So we've got for the Titans, Josh Yule, Liam Smith. Great to see Liam back. Uh, Ruben, Ruben Gasquet. Um, now, is that Noah Clark or Xavier Clark? I'm now, now, this is the tough part because when they play for Kings, we know exactly which number... Who is who? So I'm pretty sure that's Noah down there. So it's Noah Clark and then Jordan Peele. And then Gladiators got James Newitt. Michael Clapsis. That's Xavier Clark. Yes, we are set to go. Broadcast is ready to go. Uh, Joshua is loving it. He knows where that we're live. Chris Oldham is there as well too. And we are underway here. Let's press that record button as well too so we can get everyone a hard copy of the game. Meanwhile, you'll down low now. And again, a massive thank you to Yule Electrical Services for their sponsorship here for the live stream tonight. Yule going to work now. Needs to go up and gets it to go down. As JB says, he's... JB recognises Josh Yule is like the, uh, the arms on him are like Hulk Hogan. Now, for those that don't know, Hulk Hogan, a very famous wrestler in America for the WWE and WCW and pretty much had, had some... Um, Yes, massive arms, which are like, I think we describe them as 24-inch pythons, so to speak. And, um, yeah, so certainly still in good shape. Good, good old Yuli, of course, is former state reps representing back in the day. Did play for the Chargers once upon a time as well as Clark with a step back. Alex Clark, if you're tuning in, just let me know which Clark we've got. I'm pretty sure Noah there is three, and then Xavier there is number two, um, respectively. So if, if, you're on, if you're on the stream, Alex, let us know. Meanwhile, offensive foul was called on Chris Oldham uh, for the clear out. So play to restart. And it's Peel now, who's had a very busy week. I believe he was in Launceston playing in the under-22 competition up there. As well, Clark from deep is short on that one, and then rebound by Gasket. Now back to you here, top of the top of the three. Couldn't get that to go. Clapses with the rebound, and now good hands by Clark. Back to Peel, and then Clark goes up strong and rejected by Clapses, and a little friendly banter to get us going early on here. Now Clark putting it to the floor. Good hands by Peel. We'll come back to Peely's, um, ooh, nice wraparound pass. And then, oh, you're well, supposed to finish that one strong, son. He couldn't get it to go first time. Second time, who collapses is coming in and rejecting that one like no tomorrow. Peel thought about it, putting it to the floor here. Kick out pass. Gas, uh, sorry, no, yes, it is Gasket. And that is the two. Actually, I don't know if that's not, that's not Ruben. It's one of the gas gaskets. I will, um, I'll go back to the team list very shortly just to get that one. Meanwhile, Oldham puts it to the floor. Couldn't get the two to go. Now ball quickly up the floor here. Clark with it now as he finishes at the rim for two. So good work there. I'll just see if it, no, no one's chimed in on the text line. Okay, we'll keep going. So knew it now. The great fisherman as we call him. Of course, a... A West Coast colleague of, of, of myself and Joe Bay. Peel with the rebound there off the off the miss. Now ball quickly up the floor here. And well, that's supposed to go to Clark, but never never got there. Now collapses for three. He's just off. And then Collins, he's into the game already. So Oldham now. Here's Clark. Step well, thought about the step back. Now Oldham with it, 
Oldham for its half three. Missed everything and that'll be 24 second violation. As the headsets just go, go missing again. So play to restart. And Gasket. Fuel down low. Now Peel here at the corner for three. You missed that one. And then, well, Claps has got a piece of that, but you'll try to go up. Now ball quickly up the floor here. Claps is with that spin move, and then good control. Here's Collins. Oh, nice pass back to Claps, who couldn't get it done. And then goes seconds and gets the two. Clark beat Clark down there. Well, I've seen that a few times down at Swisher. Interesting to see there. Both playing on different teams this time. Not a bad thing, really, when you think about it, as Clark puts it to the floor. Step back is just off. Now ball quickly up the floor here. Ball back down to Smith. Now here's Clark. Clark working his way in and gets the two. So knew it now. Crossing over, slowing this one down. Now, yeah, Oldham for, from deep. Couldn't get that to go. Nice work there by Yule to tap that one to Clark. And now Smith with it into Yule. Oh, nice move by Joshua, who's still got it. And as much as these days he's been playing a lot of footy, he's still got it. As collapses down the other end. Our scoreline here is 10 to 4 at the moment. I'm trying to get an update. I'll try and get an update for you to see which team is which. Didn't take any notice of that. My, my apologies. We'll get that sorted out in a second. Clark for three. Collapses with the O board. Collapses goes up. And the two. So that's two more points there for the uh, Gladiators. As the Titans work their way through and foul will be called. And it's going to be on Jackson Collins. Substitutions here. Ed's and Chopping checking in for the first time tonight. Uh, let's see here. I can see Lockie McCarthy down there as well too. Lewis, Lewis Crennan as well. So good to see those boys still up and about, which is great to see. Peel at the line. Can't get that to go. As we mentioned, Peely uh, playing in the under-22 competition up in Launceston and was... One of the uh, MVPs, uh, uh, players of the week up there, I'm pretty sure, from memory. So, I know, he's, I know his face got plastered on one of the uh, LCD monitors up there at Elfham. So, so he's certainly in the, uh, in the limelight up there, that is for sure. Playing a very good competition up there as well too. Meanwhile, Clark working to the floor here. Clark pulling up and getting the two to go. Uh, actually, Alex is in the building, so I have to quickly run down a quarter of time and go see him. Meanwhile, McCarthy into Peel. Peel well, got himself a bit stuck. Oldham and Collins did a good job defensively. Peel nearly got that one back, but Collins able to hold on to it here. Good double team at the halfway line between Smith and Clark. Now the ball here with Clapsis. Clapsis working his way through. Out to chopping here at the corner. And. Well, it seems to be some curse down there at the moment on court. Every player getting caught out on that sideline down there. I don't know what it is over there, but for some reason, they're, they're getting caught out and getting caught for out of bounds. Right, so ball down with, um, well, it was with Cren. Now back to Clark here. Clark looking to go to work. Step back over chopping is no good, and that will be a foul on James Newitt looking to check back in. The Gladiators um, uh, off and going here. Clark way through to the floor, going up. And good work by Collins to get that back. Collins goes up and the two. And now the, the Titans only lead by one after the, uh, after the Gladiators here are really working their way back into it. Ball went out of play, so ball goes out of bounds. Ball quickly up the floor here. Claps is looking to 
work his way in and gets the two to go. So the Titans take the lead for the first time tonight. McCarthy, who we know can knock it down for deep, and that's why. Lucky McCarthy from downtown. He'll go to the line for a potential four-point play here. And great to see this young kid still involved. Plays his basketball out at Glenorchy. And we're, no doubt we're going to see him in State League coming up as well too. We'll give, we'll, give, uh, we'll give State League a bit of a plug at quarter time as McCarthy knocks that one down. 15-12 as the Gladiators retake the lead. Now the ball chopping. Chopping fires from deep. Can't get that to go. Now Clark with it here. Clark looking to work. What about it? Now here's Collapses, uh, Collapses working his way inside. One-on-one -on -one with McCarthy, kick out pass. Collins from deep, yes, Jackson Collins from downtown. And we're tied at 15 apiece here, just on near three minutes to go. And ball down low with Crennan. Well, trying to go for Clark, but then his twin brother, twin brother was able to pick one off. And then good work there by, by Xavier to bounce, on, uh, to bounce past that fruit to Newitt. Newitt, the fisherman. And, well, it's happening everywhere. Don't ask me how, don't ask me why. It just is. Out of bounds. Chris Oldham coming in for Jackson Collins. Noel Brown, Noel Brown into the game for the first time today as well too. He will come in, but time out being called. We are tied at 15 apiece here. Just on 2.49 remaining, first quarter. Uh, second game here on Chargers TV. Between the uh, Titans and the Gladiators. The Titans in the... 2018 Hobart Chargers tops, of course, those famous tops won a championship for the um, uh, for the Chargers, and of course the uh, light blue tops from last season. Uh, as Jordan Walker gives us a gives us a nod and a smile. Great, great to see. Always doing some bench duty down there as well too. Now let's um, let's quickly go back to this team list. I'll do the plug for for what's coming up a little bit later on. Um, actually, quarter time. Uh, quarter time. I will. Let's have a look. So. See Titans, where are we here? There's a long list of people here. Oh, it's Raf out there. Because Ruben's over there. So there you go. Raf Gasset is out there at the moment. Both teams about to come out of the huddle here. 249 remaining as we mentioned. Uh, let's give State League a little bit of a plug because otherwise we're gonna have dead air here. So State League coming up. Next week from the Kingra Sports Centre, join myself and JB on BTAS TV on the YouTube channel there. And you can see all the men's action. There's no women's competition this year, folks. It's um, just a men's competition. And, uh, yeah, we'll have some games for you on one of the courts. And uh, looking forward to uh, calling all the action alongside JB. Going to be another big day of hoops, that is for sure. So join us then. Of course, Gala Weekend in a few weeks' time as well too. So we'll come to you from the Elton Sports Centre in Launceston as well. Brown, uh, he was trying to attack the rim and got fouled by uh, got fouled by collapses there. So Brown restart. Crennan now peel with it. Shot clock at 10. Peel fires one from deep and can't get that to go. McCarthy with the rebound. Going to work. Good pass. Extra pass. Peel and a travel on the play. So, ball goes out. Oh, sorry. Ball goes to the sideline. And do it to restart. We'll make sure that we try and get you an update on this JJ's game. I believe that's now underway. So. If you're not watching the JJ's and watching us, well, um, yeah, good, good on you. We need all the viewers we can get. <laughs> so meanwhile, Collapses goes up strong. Can't get it to go. Now Smith with it as we're quickly back up the floor. Good running by Peel, and he'll get the two. Nice work there by Jordy Peel on the run. And good outlet pass there from, uh, from Smith. So Clark now putting it to the floor. Kick out. Oldham. He's chopping here, cross court, poor pass, sees a turnover, trend off and running as Peel in support. Good hands by Collapses and a good work by Brown to regain. And the ball here moving around as, as the boys here look to, oh, Smith with a nice crossover. Good to see Liam still got it, but on that occasion, just couldn't get that two for us. And then Clark now with it. Clark trying to put it to the floor. Able to regain it, here's Newitt. 
Chopping now with it. Chopping looking to attack the rim. Puts up the shot. Couldn't get that to go. And now McCarthy with it here. So McCarthy looking to work his way through. Now Crennan from deep. Couldn't get that to go. Now Oldham. Oldham. Pulls up for the J. Couldn't get that to go. Brown. Now uh, Smith. Smith into Peel. Peel goes up. Can't get that two to go either. It's Peel. Peel just going cold for us. But Smith able to get the put back there. And now marching out to four points. 19-15 I score line here. Clark. Here's Clapsis. 30 seconds to go before quarter time. Claps his kick out pass. Chopping this time for three. Couldn't get it to go. Brown with the rebound. And now Peel quickly up the floor here as Peel looks to attack the rim. And goes up strong and gets the two. So good work by Jordy Peel there as it adds a six point lead for the Titans. Gladios with a little bit of work to do. Clark trying to split for a couple. And now Chopping extra pass into Oldham. Game clock is at six. Oldham looking to go a 1-4 flat, you'd think. Oldham working his way through. Fake shot is no good. And at quarter time, sees the Titans up by 6. 21 plays 15. As we mentioned, we're coming to you by the Chargers TV YouTube channel. I hope you're enjoying the coverage, wherever you might be watching. Let's get an update from the JJ's game for you as well too now. They are definitely, definitely into the first quarter. So let's have a quick look here as the headsets go goes off. Let's, if I can find the app on my phone, that would be lovely. It's somewhere here. <laughs> Bear with us, folks. The wonderful world of technology, and then me trying to play around with it here as we take a, a bit of a quick seat. So let's have a look. Currently, the JJ's up by 13 at the moment, 17 to four, and about halfway through the first quarter there. So. The crowd will be loving it down there at My State Bank Arena and great to uh, great to see, which is which is good. People chiming in all around the place, so great to have you with us. Um, oh, just got a live update from the game here. Yeah, okay, good to see. Great great to see people uh, are there and, and tuning in. I'll be and going from there, Alex is now up. Alex must have heard my call about which 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 Clark boy is is on which team. Yep, and yep, no Noah's on that on that one. Ah, yep, and Xavier's on the other team. Oh, I got it, I got it right then. Okay. <laughs> oh, go yeah, charge Go to the Chargers uh, YouTube page. Charges YouTube page. Yeah, that's where we're, we're streaming from, Alex. So, all good. All good. Second quarter about to get underway here. Is, um, we are now on our way through. As I mentioned, we're live on the Chargers TV YouTube channel. Of course, we'll have all these games for you on the Chargers TV YouTube channel. Now, we, we, we have um, some selected games uh, can I go back a tad there? Yeah, there we go. All right, that's got the level right. Um, we, we we have a deal in place. We'll cover uh, we'll cover games that we'll you know, myself and JB are available for and and whatnot, and we'll and we'll try and live stream every week. Now we do have a couple of clashes, I think, with some other commitments. So we'll just see where everything lies, but we'll, we'll definitely make sure we're here for you next week, hopefully, folks. And. Um, I may need to go. Do, I may need to go double check the booking, though. I believe as well too. We've got um, the stadium owner here as well, because I think a couple of events have double booked themselves. Meanwhile, McCarthy from deep can't get that to go. And then ball goes out of play. So the ball knew it. New and now putting it to the floor. Here's Clark. So we Xavier Clark, thanks to the to Alex for coming up and uh, clearing that up for us. New it now from deep. The fisherman couldn't get it to go. And ball goes out of play. So ball goes out of bounds. And the Titans will get it back. As 
McCarthy now with it. Crennan and then Gasket. Gasket puts it up, couldn't get that to go. Rebound by Clark. Now Clapsis with it here as we could be coming up the floor. So the ball with Clapsis once again, looking for Collins there, but Clapsis goes solo. Nice fake and step through for the two. Great work there by Michael Clapsis. As you looks to attack the rim strong. Kick out her, foul on the plate. And ball goes back to the Titans here. 21 19 our scoreline. Glad it has worked their way back into this second quarter nicely. Yule cross court pass. Crane putting it to the floor. Crane goes up and gets the two. And out to a four point lead now. So the ball with Clark. Now knew it. Knew it putting it to the floor. Knew it attacking. Claps the sport about it. Good hands by Brown. You were able to get it and we're off and running once again. Cross court pass to Gasket. He goes up, couldn't get the two to go. Rebound by Newitt. Now Clark. Clark here. And ball collapses. Now Oldham from deep. Couldn't get that to go. Or will you? Now Crennan went down low to Yule. Now Gasket to McCarthy for three. In and out on that one. Good work by Brown to save that. Of course, Noel Brown, a uh, premiership winner with the Clarence under 18 footy side this year as well too. And as the three went up and that missed. And now all of a sudden here's, here's Collins. Collins now working his way in. Spin move going up. And lovely move by Jackson Collins there. And Crennan just bumped knees. Let's hope he's all right. He'll work his way through. Gasket. And then, well, pass went through there. So he's uh, new it into Clark. Clark for the two. Yes. Back to a tight ball game. 23 apiece. And three minutes into this second quarter here. Not like the first game went quick. McCarthy now Crennan. He's Brown from deep. Yes. No, Brown from downtown. And getting that three to go. He's Clapsis here. Collins, Newitt, and Clark all combine here. Clark from deep. Yes! Xavier Clark from downtown. And Rocky knows nice pink shoes as well, too. Great to see some of the boys with their fashion game. And Clapsis gets a nice two. So now be a timeout. So timeout here to the Titans as the Gladiators take a two-point lead, 28 to 26 here. And let's check the... Uh... Okay, it's probably not something that we'll put on. <laughs> That's not something we'll put on here. Just seeing, just seeing some random messages from a couple of group chats. Nineteen to go here in the second quarter. Two point lead to the Gladiators. Some interesting team names, that is for sure. Gladiators, Titans. The Titans are you know, for those for those basketball tragics. Of course, um, the Titans were a team back in the NBL in the um, late nineties, early two thousands. Of course, they won a. Um, They made it to a few grand finals, but unfortunately went down. And Gladiators is a um, interesting name out of the blue. I don't know if that was just something random or just something a little bit a little bit different. But anyway, good to see good to see some creativity, and that's what you like. And of course, Swisher is Swisher, and Utah is Utah. So there, there you go. 
You're with it. Here's we're back underway here. Brown for three is way off on that one. You're with the rebound. Big thank you to your electrical services as Gasquet gets it to go down from downtown. Yes, your electrical services are providing the sponsorship for the live stream tonight. It's much appreciated and we thank them for their contribution. As the two couldn't go there for Oldham. And then Brown, now Yule with it. So Yule. Clark. Clark looking to attack the rim here. A night out in that under 22 final we covered here back a few weeks ago. Yule goes up and gets the two. So nice work there by uh, Josh Yule. Of course, his family in attendance tonight. Great to see mum, dad, uh, his brother Tom as well. Good to see. Collins now with it. His claps is working down low. Goes up strong, couldn't get the two to go. Rebound by Brown. Now he's got it an off and running here. Brown goes up, drew the foul over on Collins or Oldham. And Noel Brown will go to the line here for two. Substitutions. Uh, Peel coming back in, McCarthy out, Claps is coming in, and and Collins coming out. Brown at line for two. So now Brown, of course, won the premiership with, as we mentioned, with the Clarence under 18 footy side. That was a big day for him. And I think he backs up by playing in. I'm not sure if he played in one of the junior finals on the same day down here for us as well, too, in the, um... No, no, it was something else, I think. So, as my mind goes, uh, goes a bit wandering there. Memo I knew it! <laughs> goes up strong, but was fouled on the play. That's going to be assessed on Jordan Peel. So, James knew it at the line for two. Again, a good friend of the program to... Myself and JB, of course he's from uh, from the West Coast originally, same as myself and JB and and yeah, great to see great to see Newey getting involved and getting amongst it, which is great to see and of course was a grand final MVP in the under twenty two final last year. That was between Grand Ears and some wolves in that one and Grandy's got up in that game, which was which was good to see, and Newell took out the MVP honours for that one. Meanwhile, Yule putting it to the floor now. The two team, two team, former teammates collide, and then Yule up strong for the two. So margin four points here. 34-30 our scoreline here. The uh, 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 travel violation call. As the Titans uh, take a four-point lead here. Yule. Now Ga Gasquet. Yule from deep is short on that one. Yule now working his way through. Oh, Smith knee able to pick it up. Hold him inside to collapse. Now chopping this time for three, just off. Hasn't found the hot hand as yet. It's certainly no doubt, I reckon he will at some stage. Peel. Clark from deep, yes. Noah Clark from downtown. Out to a seven point lead here for the Titans. All getting moved around, here's Newitt. Now Oldham from deep. Yes, rattles home there for Chris Oldham. So back to four. So Peel now with the ball carrying duties here. We know Jordan Peel can shoot that ball and just waiting for that opportunity. Clark now with it here. Clark into Smith. Smith inside, goes up strong and gets the two. So nice work there. So the ball with Clark now. Oldham. So Clark once again, now Newitt. Newitt putting it to the floor. Oldham from deep, can't get that to go. Yule with the rebound, and now Yule off and running. 
He's peeled. Kick out pass. Clark goes up strong and gets the two to go. Oldham. Oh, nice cut by Newark. The fisherman does it nicely and gets the two. Peel going to work here. Pull up Jay is just strong. Just a bit strong there for Peely. Now Newark. Up to Collapses. Collapses up. Rejected by Smith. Welcome back to the league as well. Pull pass there and a turnover. Here's Collapses. Into Oldham once again. Oldham getting it stuck. Clark, yep, gets the two. There you go, four points. Yeah, nice close game here. Both teams uh, being really competitive, which is great to see. Into end stuff. Clark thought about it. Clark putting it to the floor now. Oh, nice move and the finish. Great work by Noel Clark there, taking it to the rim. And timeout being called. So margin at six here, 43 to 37. Our scoreline meant 26 to go. We'll continue on here. There's, we're getting some more. No, these are different messages, of course. Um, again, text lines open. Feel free to say hi and we'll give you a shout out. Uh, that's for sure. Thanks to everyone tuning in. We end some 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 small small numbers but still that's good numbers to to see so be with us now we'll just give you now for those that have, have tuned in and for those that decided to uh not i mean i'm sure you haven't i'm sure you haven't turned off from the jojo's game at home but here we go we're tied at 21 at quarter time between uh the jojo's and melbourne in that game of course coming up a little bit later on tonight if you're I want to catch some more basketball. Perth taking on Brisbane. There, uh, from RAC Arena in Perth. So, both teams about to come out of the huddle here. But like I say, minute 26 to go here. In our second game of this doubleheader that we have tonight. And then we're hoping to have, hoping to have some more coverage for you next week. Of course, we'll keep you advised by the charge of social media as well, too. So, Gladiators to restart. One of the more unique basketball names you'll ever hear. But a good one as well, too, is Clark from deep. Goes back on, gets his own rebound. Oldham thought about it. Back to Clark here. Clark putting it to the floor. Going up strong and a finish. So, good work there by Xavier Clark. I feel like there'll be a bit of one-upsmanship here between the Clark twins. Now Peel with it. Crennan into Brown. Nice play. Really good backdoor play. See Coach Tremor Hill like that one. Now knew it. Here's Clark. Clark looking for that step back move. Chopping now into collapses. Shot clock at three. Oldham pull, pulls up and gets the two to go. So crucial bucket there. And back to four points. So Clark slowing this one down. So Clark trying to isolate here a little bit. Game clock at seven. Now Smith with it, Smith nearly lost the handle and then collapses and then was that a foul? It is with 1.0 remaining. And no, it was never in the act of shooting, it was certainly on the floor folks. So one second left. So one second left here. Collapses with the Hail Mary, not right there. Half time after a very good entertaining first half sees the Titans up by four, 45 to 41. We'll take a bit of a break here and we'll come back with the second half very soon.
Okay, second half about to get underway here and um, just replying to a couple of messages. Uh, no, stat, uh, no, no, no stats for this week, Charlotte, if you're, you're still listening to us now as we come back live on the air. Uh, uh, next week there will be. So um, uh, we're just a little bit... So we're just a little bit slow in in, in, um, in getting things set up for, for tonight. So um, now, just very now, very quickly. I'm glad someone is watching two screens. That is fantastic to see. Shout out to Peerly's mum. Fantastic. That's what we'd like to see. People on the lot, people on the live stream, and people on the JJs as well too. Fantastic work. So. That's great to hear. Okay, we're about to get underway here. Who's inbounding the ball down there? Oh, it's Liam Smith. It is, and great to see he's still got his old jersey from 2018. Glad he's got it, got it with him and kept it after all those years. Good to see. Meanwhile, Cranton putting it to the floor now. Goes up and gets the two. And the Titans lead it by six now. 47-41 our scoreline. Rolf Riggs in commentary with you. Unfortunately, no Joe B tonight. He's out at the JoJo's game. A die-hard member, one would say, and fair to say, not afraid to voice his opinion at times too towards the um, the opposition of any NBL team. Meanwhile, Newitt couldn't get that two to go. Good rebound by Crennan, and now Peel quickly up the floor. Peel from deep, can't get on that occasion. This is a bit strong. He's shooting. Are we? Um, he purely wasted all the night before the night before off in Ronnie. I'm hoping he didn't. Meanwhile, Clark now. Slowing this one down. Here's Clapsis. Ball with Oldham. Goes up strong and tough shot fading away there. Gets the two to go. 47 to 43, our scoreline here. Four points. And Peel this time, can't get it to go. Just not find that hot hand at the moment. Uh, that's, a, that's a very good question, Charlotte. Um, not, at, uh, not at this point in time. The question was, was it, is it in play HQ? Not at this point in time, Charlotte. So we'll quickly respond. We're multitasking here. Like I say, we're doing camera work, we're doing commentary, we're doing live stream, we're doing everything here. Even responding to the masses as well. Oldham now putting it to the floor. Last touch by Smith, and the uh, Gladiators will, will get it back. Uh, now, to my understanding, everything should be set up next week in regards to Play HQ and, and whatnot. So, as I said, they were just a bit slow this week in getting things organised. There's a little bit, apparently, from what I'm hearing, got a little bit rushed at some point. Here's Peel on the reverse, high off the glass, if you don't mind, as well, too. He likes that one. That one was never rushed at all, folks. That was nice and smooth. And he was able to get that one to go. And as the headsets blow out again. Meanwhile, extra pass here. Knew it. And then Smith able to pick that one off. One on one with uh, Clark. And Smith gets the better of that one. If you can hear the banging, folks, I'm just trying to get this headset back in the gear here. Meanwhile, Oldham now. Putting it to the floor. Oldham goes up strong and gets the two. Now Peel just slowly bringing this one up. Now off to Clark. Clark from deep. Yes. No, Clark, casual as you like. Just knocking that one down. Clark now with it. Knew it. Chopping this time from deep. Yes. Ayrton chopping from downtown, and that's one of his favourite spots down there. Now, I do, do, do a little bit of work with Ayrton um, here and there, and that corner, that corner down there is his favourite spot, so great to see him finally get some points on the board. Meanwhile, Crennan turns the corner. Here's Brown. Brown going up strong, and the finish. Great work by Noah Brown there for the two. Knew it now, working it through. And then turn over there, ball quickly back up the floor here. So Peel with it now. So Peel goes to Clark. 
Park fires from deep and is short an hour. Now we'll go out of bounds. Substitutions. So multiple substitutions here. Smith, Brown, Clark, and then Newart for the other team. So Clark, Xavier Clark, now Oldham. Oldham putting it to the floor. Oldham goes up strong. Can't get that two to go. Ball with Peel. Peel into McCarthy. Trying to go to the alley play to Crenham, but that was never on. Collins now with it. Collins working his way through. Now Clark. So collapses. Now Oldham putting it to the floor. Collins from deep. Just in and out on that one, but it was a good look nonetheless. And now Yule with it here. Yule working his way through. Oh, nice pass into Gasket and gets the two. So good work by Raff there. Ball to Collins, now chopping, he turns the corner nicely, goes up strong, can't get that two to go, and then Clark couldn't get the tip in either, so Comedy of Errors there for the uh, Gladiators, good work by Gasket to save it, Peel from deep, can't get that to go either, Crennan, Gasquet for three, yes, so margin has ballooned out to 13 points here as Clark now goes up strong, can't get the two to go. you off and running. You'll turn the corner. Spin move. Nearly getting a little bit stuck. Now Crennan will try his luck and can't get that to go. Here's Peel. Oh, sorry, not Peel. <laughs> that collapses right there. Peel was right near him, but had no effect on the play whatsoever. It's been a long day. <laughs> Fair to say, you, when you look forward to a day off and then get caught in the work, it can be a little bit different, folks. Peel this time from deep, yes. Jordan Peel from downtown. And a timeout being called here. Margin is out of 14 points, 64 to 50. Uh, with 4.15 remaining here in the third as we come to you from the Rain Basketball Stadium. And let's just have a quick look here at what's going on. Okay, that is oh yeah, May Armstrong watching for, watch it back. Yes, good, good to see Brooklyn um, um, plugging the uh, plugging the link. That's fantastic to see. Um, all right, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll uh, we'll confirm that friend request. Good, good on you, Stu. We're, we'll just we'll just name everyone here as we as we go along. <laughs> um, let's let's see here. Um, no, nothing there that we can mention. Nothing, there's nothing there we can mention, folks. All right. Okay. All right. As we say, text lines are always open. Feel free to uh, uh, to get to tune in and and uh, and go from go from there. So as we're about to come out on the floor, plenty of stuff happening downstairs. And so again, we've got our fixed mic working. Oh, that's not. There we go. That that's better. So both teams about to come back out onto the floor here. Four fifteen remaining. The uh, Gladiators to uh, get it get it back. Jordan Peel giving us a thumbs up. Good to see. We're gonna. Well, I think we're gonna mic him up at some stage as well too. Uh, Jordan Cooper, and we'll give you some extra sounds of the game through the referees as well too. We've. It's not the first time we've done it in our coverage, won't be the last time either. Nor will James Newitz 3 will miss for the first time nor the last time either. But yes, no, some exciting initiatives that we usually do at this time of year. So we'll come back to you on that throughout the year. Meanwhile, or throughout the next few weeks, McCarthy from deep couldn't get that to go. And then you'll, well, well, well Colin, apparently Collins knocked that one out. So you'll get it back here and play to restart. Peel with it. Peel working his way through. Fires for three. He is off on that one. You'll thought about it. 
Now putting it to the floor, looking for Gasquet for three. Can't get it to go. Oldham with a rebound. Three and a half to go here. As I can hear the baby from the, from the uh, second row. As Clark now thought about it, goes to Collins. Pull up Jay is not good. Now Gasquet here with a rebound. Into McCarthy. McCarthy up strong and gets the two. Nice finish there by Lockie McCarthy. Marching out to 16 here. Clark putting it to the floor. Out to Newitt. Now Clapsis working his way through. Clark and Travel. Did move his feet before he put it to the floor. So good call by the official there. And substitutions here. So I think it's going to be Noah Clark, Liam Smith coming in. Lewis Crennan, Jordan Peele having a breather. So, play to restart. And you just really lost a hand on that. And yes, it was a travel. So, yes, you must have com com complete control of the ball. Otherwise, if you fumble it too much, yes, will be. Play restarts here. Clark on the turn. Clark thought about it. Extra pass. Collapses for three. Yes. Oh, sorry. That's Jackson Collins from downtown. Sorry. Collins from deep. Yes. There we go. We'll, re we'll rephrase that. Good grief. A bit tough when you don't have your co-commentator here. But and as we mentioned, long day. Clark putting it to the floor now. Yule. Clark this time. Couldn't get it to go. Smith with the rebound. Smith goes up strong. And off glass gets the two. So back to 15 our margin. So ball with Clark here. Goes up strong and gets the two. Back to 13. So. I suppose if you can get a couple more stops here and just convert down the other end, then certainly uh, you'd look at um, you'd look at this at being a different ball game as Jackson Collins comes out for air and chopping. Ball to Clark. Now yeah, you'll down low. And then try to go cross court there. Smith finally gets it. Now McCarthy joins in. McCarthy fires for three. Can't get it to go. Yule with a good rebound there. Of course, thanks to Yule Electric Services for their sponsorship tonight. Meanwhile, foul here. And it's, uh, it's on, on collapses there. 14 on the shot clock. Smith. Now Clark here, Clark looking to go to work here, getting good pressure by Newitt. And Clark nearly lost his shot clock at six. Clark will need to get busy here as he's trying to do it all. And well, he got it done in the end. So good work there by Noel Clark who saved himself from what could have been a uh, bad turnover in the scheme of things. So the ball with Clark, with the other Clark now, here's Xavier. Xavier trying to one up and couldn't do it. Now Gasquet here with it as couldn't, he couldn't get it. Now collapses. Clark. He tried to hold him, but that was never on. McCarthy here now. Alley played a Clark and ball goes out of bounds. And the Gladiators will get it back. 36 seconds to go here before three quarter time. As Nua picks it up now. Clark for three, yes! So Xavier Clark bring this back one to, back to 12 here, just on 24 or so seconds to go. Carthy, here's Yule. So Yule slowing this one down. Last play of the quarter, you would think. So I think no one was trying to get a foul there for no reason. I'm not sure why. Clark on the three-quarter time buzzer. We'll get that one to go and that will see us out. So Noah Clark with the exclamation point at three-quarter time. Sees them up by 15. 73 
to 58. Let's give everyone a bit of an update. If you're not watching the JJ's, which I assume you are, if, and if you're watching two screens like the Peels are at home, I'll tell you what, um, you're doing a fantastic job. I, I wish I could say I could shout you something, but um, we don't have enough money in the budget here at Chargers TV, just quietly. <laughs> but a, big, a massive thank you to your, your electrical services for um, jumping on board and, and, and sponsoring the live stream tonight. It's fantastic to uh, see them on board and any, any electrical needs that you need. Uh, get, out, get out on their social media or, or, or if they've got a contact number, which I don't have in front of me, unfortunately, give them a ring and, and get in touch with Sam and the team there. That is for sure. Half time in the Check Jumpers game at Downey My State Bank Arena. Melbourne United lead it 43 to 42 there. So close one in that game. So that's a good one. That'll be a good one to watch back to, tomorrow at some stage. We'll have to get, I'll have to get, I'll have to get the, um, the TBs going down there. Swisher of all to change this game. Meanwhile, May Armstrong with um, some advice there for the referees as May just walks over back over to uh, where Luca and I'm not sure who's in between there. Maybe the peels could get back to me. Is that um, is that Geordie, Is that Geordie's grandmother? Uh, I'm asking the question. If they hear that on the air, please let me know. Okay, final quarter about to get underway here. It's in chopping with a raw smile down there, and he's about to inbound the ball. Yeah, yep, yeah, don't worry. I'm saying good things about you. It's all right. Same thing, same thing we know. Don't worry. They all know they're on air here, the boys. So here we go. Cla Claps is here with the ball carrying duties. Now Collins. Clark working his way through. Here's Collins now from deep. And, well, we will say it, 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 we'll say it hit the net, but not in a good way. Unfortunately, he missed everything on that shot. But still good look nonetheless. We, we certainly paid out. It was definitely a good look. There's now Smith with it. Smith working his way through. Yule now with it. Into Smith. Smith gets the two to go and does so off a good pass from Yule. And again, my, my thanks to Yule Electrical Services for getting on board with us here tonight. As Clark now with the ball carrying duties. Into collapses. Perhaps is looking for Collins on the back door. Collins mid-range, just off. Gasquet with a rebound. And now Clark with it here as we come down the floor. Now Brown, who puts it to the floor. Back to Gasquet for the two. Couldn't get it to go. Ball went out of play. Let's get it back. So the ball chopping here. Chopping, looking to work hard. And had the right idea. Just well read on the defensive end as Yule. Well, we wonder if he's still got some hops. Now, I remember back in his younger days, he um, he certainly he certainly did. But uh, uh, meanwhile, knew it. Good end-to-end -end stuff here. We'll finish off on the Yule point here. Was, basically was, you know, Yule's probably been more into bodybuilding now. You would say he's lost, lost a little bit of that jump, but can still get up. Which is great to see. Now Gasquet here working his way inside and draws the foul. He'll go to the line for two. Good to see a good little crowd in tonight as well too. It was a nice little roaming crowd in the first one and there was a, it's been a nice little roaming one here in the second one as well too. So that's always nice that people are coming out to watch. So. To all your friends, this is, I believe this is going for the next six weeks, and then there's two weeks of finals. So it'll be knockout semis, and then probably a grand final. There'll probably be a consolation game as well, too, like a 3 4 playoff, I'm assuming, uh, just to uh, solidify final rankings and whatnot. And we'll have all that for you here on the Chargers TV YouTube channel. As Clark from, well, Creek Road itself, but couldn't get it to go, and then Newell couldn't get that to go from the West Coast. Now, Gasquet into, uh, well, it went to Clark and Gasquet got it back. And the ball back with Yule here. So, Clark thought about it. 
Smith working his way in. Extra pass went to Yule from deep. Couldn't get that to go. Smith for the O board and the putback. So marching out to 21 points here. So this one's just fizzed out a, bit, a little bit here in our second game. Where it was an overtime thriller in the first one as Clark goes for the two. Of course, the, uh, that win went to Utaz there. And what was a very exciting game. And the ball here with Collins. Oh, nice move by Clark. He did well to follow his own shot though. Brown did a good job of saving that. Now the ball here with Yule. Yule with some behind the back moves and he lost it. Gasquet got caught out. Smith on the cut and gets it done nicely. So ball quickly up the floor here, so collapses. Collins, sorry, pulls up for three. So Jackson Collins from downtown. I don't know why I'm getting those two mixed up. Something maybe similar hairstyles, I'm thinking. Apologies to uh, Chaco and uh, Michael there. My, my sincere apologies. I never should get those two muddled up. Now Gasquet here. Clark and Clark. Going at each other. Clark finds an opening. Step through move is good off glass for Noel Clark. So ball with Clark now. See collapses. Collins, right, we got him right this time. Collins from deep couldn't get that to go. Follows his own rebound, but unfortunately run out of room. Substitutions as both teams make some changes here. Smith to uh, inbound. And McCarthy bring it up. So two gl former Glenorchy teammates back into it. I should not be teammates at Glenorchy for the upcoming State League. Of course, you can see that through BTAS TV with myself and JB on the coverage there. Peel from the elbow, yes. Jordan Peel will be certainly in action as well too at State League and we hope to see more of that from him as well. So the ball out to collapses. Now to Collins. Collins, nice good kind of move inside and off glass gets it to go. Nice move by uh, Jackson Collins. As this margin back out to uh, 24 points here. Peel fires from deep and Get that one to go. Front rim there. Now the ball with Clark. Clark working his way through. Extra pass here to Oldham. Into uh, collapses on the two and gets it. So Peel with the ball carrying duties here. Gets it off to Brown. Brown fires from Clarence itself. Couldn't get that to go. Now the ball with Oldham. Oldham works his way through. Oh, nice fake. Couldn't get that to go, though. A million dollar move and a five cent finish, as JB would say. McCarthy with a nice move to the basket. And margin blueing out here a little bit as collapses. We'll just slow this one down for the troops. Now Clark thought about it. Clark, step back. Three is good for Xavier Clark. So back to 21. Last quarter here. Credit cross court. And yep, yep, good work. As, as that was last afflicted by the uh, Titans there. So glad he is to get it back. 4 one remaining. Only one foul quarter in this quarter. No wonder the quarter's gone quick. Clark putting it to the floor. There's been some good play though, folks, I must say. Been some nice play from both teams. Both teams um, not giving up an inch here. Uh, that's Newitt for three. Couldn't get that to go. That kind of went around like the uh, app railway does. Meanwhile, Smith putting it to the floor. Smith thought about it. Yeah, that's McCarthy. And again, everyone getting caught out on that line down there. It is certainly one of those nights where you don't want to be stuck in that corner there, folks. And... It goes out of bounds. So ball to Collins. 
Collins. Oh, nice pass in Oldham. Oldham with some moves. Back to Neward. Neward couldn't get that to go. Now Crennan with it. Now ball back up to McCarthy. McCarthy thought about it. Crennan fires from deep. Couldn't get that to go. Clark with the rebound here. Clark. Now collapses. Good take to the basket. Back to 19. Now the ball with Crennan. Crennan goes up. Couldn't get that to go. And Noel Clark will come in for Liam Smith. Good to see Liam uh, back into it. Uh, Liam coming off injury, of course. And, you know, and Liam played some senior. Has played a bit of senior basketball. I know he's uh, trying to make his way back in that Charger squad as well too. As Claps just with the finish there, so ball with Peel trying to go to McCarthy there and able to recover. Now Crennan, who wants to fire this one from deep, and it was a good option for for uh, Lewis Crennan there from downtown. So back to a 20-point ball game we go. Just on the two minutes remaining here is Clark for the response. Yes. So. We'll see if the boys get a shootout here or they sell this one down. Aliou, well, not a, well, good rejection. We'll say he got arm there. I think, no, I think Xavier Clark got away with a foul powder. Meanwhile, play continues. Meanwhile, Brown fires from deep and now. Oh, okay. I'm hoping, did we, if we got that on camera, uh, uh, apologies there for Noah Brown. He saluted the the bird of Jordan Peele. Now, Jordan Peele did everything he could to not interfere with that. And unfortunately, it was offensive interference, so therefore the three will not count. Claps as two does. But yes, in the international game, they have brought in that offensive interference rule. If you, um, yeah, uh, muck around with it, like the Noah Brown did on that one. You, uh, yeah, you get a hand on it while the ball's going through the similar it will not count. So, so yep, yeah, no, it's uh, yeah, just unfortunate. There. Now this time they work in tandem. Well, Peel, <laughs> Peel should have got that one in really. You know, when you think about it, but maybe that's justice for what happened down the other end. Now Peel and Brown having a conversation. Peel trying to claim that well, I didn't mean to touch it. Why do you try and shoot threes and bank them in? I suppose is the question down there. Oh, meanwhile, Oldham got, got fouled and the uh, layup went in for him. So this will be a potential three-point play right here. Just on 89 seconds to go as Oldham knocks that one down. Back to 14, funny enough. So... Just a little bit of scoreboard pressure here, just making sure that the Tyrants has played this out properly. So Cram with the ball now. Now Peel for three, yes. Sean and Peel from downtown and back out to 17 now, so that's pretty much the game right there. And it's Oldham now. Clark, he'll fire one from, well, that was from Brighton itself from downtown, that one. Nice shot there by Xavier Clark. And then a quick foul there by Clapsis. Clock stops at 56 flat. Play restarts here. Clark. Now McCarthy couldn't get that one to go. Oldham. Oldham works his way through. Can't get the two to go. Ball with Clark. Clark fires from deep. Couldn't get that to go as the uh, as we need to go through the motions here. Claps this with a nice spin move. Nice little hesitation. And again, in the spin sock, he takes an old round. So... Nice two there. Good to see these boys playing playing it off. Uh, fish, sorry, finishing off hard here. Just what you want to see. Crennan from deep. Yes. And that takes them uh, over the century there. 102 here. That's the highest score for tonight. Clark. Couldn't get that three to go. And I think now the boys will dribble this out here. So 
Let's see. Yeah, five, only five seconds left in this one. So a good win by the Titans who, um, as that shot will be no good. And, um, and a good game by both teams. He sees the Titans win this one by 15, 102 to 87. Well, it was a pretty good game. Didn't open up until really about the second half where the, um, the Titans were able to really push out and get a bit of a lead. And Gladiators, you know, a few, a few defensive breakdowns and um, really, uh, really didn't find their shot as well too. So a little bit of work to do for that, that team. I believe it's, uh, the Gladiators team still has a few people to come in. I think the same with um, the, all the other teams as well too. I think there's a few more additions um, coming in. Uh, in the, over the coming week. So it will be interesting to see what, what does happen going forward um, and, and vice versa. Trust you have enjoyed our coverage here for the Rain Basketball Stadium and two, two good games of basketball tonight. Obviously in our earlier game, the, uh, the UTAS team got up in overtime against the, against the Swisher team. And let's quickly recap that result for you. Um, that was... 97 to 94, so a three-point win there for the UTAS team, and um, great win there. And then, of course, the uh, Titans getting up by 15 in 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 this one. So um, great to see. One more final update in the basketball. Are we in the third quarter? We are. Melbourne United up by four points at the moment, 48 to 44. There. Yeah, so I think if we pack up quick enough, we might see the final. We might see the last bit of the game. We don't know. Yet. We might have to watch the replay, but. Thanks for tuning in to our first week coverage of this uh, Summer League. And uh, Summer League opening night is the title there that Chavez put together on the um, YouTube. So good on him. Uh, we'll have some more games throughout the coming weeks for you. Like I say, six-week competition with two weeks of finals. We'll be trying to cover most games as we can, depending on the busiest schedules that myself and JB have. But, um, uh, but yeah, we'll, 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 see how we, uh, we'll see how we'll go. We'll keep everyone... We'll keep everyone up to date via our social media uh, and through the Hobart Chargers social media as well too. Uh, on behalf of myself, because I'm the only one here tonight and, and doing all the work from the camera work to putting the live stream together to everything else, uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll hope to see you next time here on Chargers TV.